most of what people know about Pearl Harbor is from just a real aerial view and seeing ships exploding and burning in the harbor. But we have a really neat opportunity here to create that uh, experience for players from the ground and put them smack in the middle of it. Player's gonna be thrust into this event. He's gonna walk out of the door of his battleship and just be amazed at everything that's happening. And, and we want him to feel like the world isn't centered around him. We want him to feel like he's thrown into this crazy, horrific attack. And he's gonna take a second to soak it all in. and then realize, wow, I can, maybe I can help fight these guys off. I'm not going to win Pearl Harbor, but maybe I can do something to help our cause. Take his gun and give us fire support! Throughout the game, a lot of the inspiration for the levels was taken from real live accounts. Um, we did lots of research, read lots of books, listened to tapes, videos, movies. Um, reading about actual Medal of Honor recipients, what they did to receive these medals. They always say that uh, reality is often more interesting than anything you can, you can come up with, and I, I think that's very true in this case. Historically, the United States' uh, efforts were so different between the Pacific Theater and the European Theater, it was closer to two different wars than it was two different theaters. So we have a, we have a whole fresh palette of new environments uh, and enemies that fought totally differently than our enemies in Europe did. The battles that took place during the first two years, the Pacific Theater are unbelievable stories for us to tell players about and let them experience. Medal of Honor Pacific Assault, although it shares some similarities with the console version, which is called Rising Sun, and it's a completely different game designed exclusively for the PC platform and the PC game player. In the previous Medal of Honor games, our enemies have been pretty straightforward. They would engage you, you'd see them, you'd fight, one of you would win. Um, in Pacific Assault, we're, we're trying to take it to a new level with both the enemies and the tactics they used. Um, having them appear to be more human, having them make decisions based off um, how hurt they are. Are they going to turn and retreat and go look for help? Let them have it! Instead of just single enemies that you're fighting one at a time, you might be fighting squads of enemies who have a leader who is giving them orders, telling them to fall back, telling them to flank. The squad will also have a morale level that changes based on the combat. So if I'm a Japanese soldier and I'm fighting you, my buddy gets shot, my morale's gonna go down and I might retreat and go hide behind a rock now because I'm a little worried about what's happening. Or if my personality is different, I might instead pull out my sword and charge you. The technology is focused on recreating large, expansive environments. So we're talking about islands, we're talking about Pearl Harbor, we're talking about jungles, we're talking about uh, things that haven't traditionally been modeled well in, in games. The new render in Pacific Assault will make the gameplay a lot more organic feeling. We'll be able to let the player roam around the world a little bit more freely to make it feel like not everything is planned, like they don't have to go from point A to point B to point C to complete the level. One thing we're really trying to do is, is, is create a tense environment, um, one where you're afraid that you're going to get shot and you really don't want to just go running up the middle of the road. Instead, you're going to be creeping from rock to tree to rock. And... We might add some more psychological features in there, maybe um, voices or whispers or, or a very eerie wind or something that's going to get it, give it more of a moment. Every time that you replay the level, you're not always exactly hearing the same moments over and over again. We go out on weapon shoots with actual World War II weapons to ensure we, we record the right audio and our animators can see what it really looks like when you shoot one of these guns. They took damn near the entire Pacific with these things. Uh, we work with museum curators and reenactors, so we really know what it feels like when a flamethrower goes off a few feet away from you and, and how to convey that in a game for a player. We go to painstaking efforts to research every aspect of the war and the content of the video game. It provides us with an opportunity to entertain and educate players on uh, World War II. And having the opportunity to build games that are socially conscious um, is pretty rare these days and something you know our team in Electronic Arts takes most seriously. It is the most horrific and, and harrowing uh, moments in our, uh, in our history.